pharmaceutical grade lavender essential oil it was one of the things that we were most excited to hear about at doTERRA's convention. But what exactly does that mean? Dr. Russell Osgothorpe shared about this. He is our chief medical officer with doTERRA. He's also an infectious disease pediatric doctor and specializes in this. And I'm going to sum up some of what he shared at convention and why this is so exciting. And he talked about how, and he quoted this in 2019, adulteration is criminal because when we use an essential oil on our bodies, we're going to breathe it in. It's going to go into our lungs. It's going to go into our bloodstream. And if you don't know what's in that bottle of oil, you're taking a gamble on your family's health that you should not take. I think it's important to remember that any use of an essential oil is systemic. It's going through your body. And this is why purity really, really matters. Now, adulteration is rampant in the essential oil industry. It impacts how these oils benefit our lives and what we do. And doTERRA has done five different studies on essential oils that really establish, and now we have the science and the research that proves that doTERRA is the gold standard for purity and consistency using clinical trials that have just demonstrated the effectiveness of our essential oils in comparison to both placebos and traditional medications, which is really exciting. So when we're talking about using a medication, 20 milligrams of a medication can vary up to 5%, that there could be one to two milligram difference on either side of that prescription. And that's kind of the standard that we've set up for medications. And Dr. Osgothorpe was talking about an article that was published from the University of Mississippi School of Pharmacy, as well as conjunction with the National Center of Natural Product Research, or NCNPR for short. And this was published in a pharmaceutical journal, not an essential oil journal. So we're talking about that field of pharmaceuticals. And when they were looking at the data, it showed that doTERRA's lavender essential oil is pure. They looked at the quality of the lavender oil and they did through a quality index. So there's a mathematical, very careful evaluation done of the essential oils using lots of different testing. There's GCMS and NNR and other scientific techniques. And they plug this data into a formula that actually scores that oil on whether it's a high quality oil or is it a low quality oil to see if things are adulterated or not. We now have the science that we can do those tests and you can tell very clearly if you're using an adulterated oil or a pure oil. And they score that and they can kind of see how pure is something. They took 32 commercially available lavenders that were labeled for internal use. And this blew my mind because most of the stuff that you see on the market is not labeled for internal use. That's a big difference with doTERRA essential oils is you will see a supplement fact on the bottle if you know that that oil is safe for internal use. So they took 32 commercially available lavenders that were labeled for internal use and they took them through the same scientific techniques of all of these testings. And what they found was two thirds of that was junk. It was not a lavender essential oil. It did not resemble lavender essential oil. They were synthetic essential oils. Well, I wouldn't even call them essential oil. They were synthetics and they were cut with vegetable oils. Their potency was decreased. It wasn't the real deal. And this shows us that what you're buying in the essential oil industry out there, you don't know what's in there. So two thirds of the time, when you go and you buy somebody else's lavender essential oil, it's junk. Like you have no idea what you're getting there. And just because one third of the time, the lavender out there in that particular batch at that particular time was okay, we know that how our oils are sourced at doTERRA is different. And maybe with other companies, that batch was okay, but maybe the second batch, they were using a middleman 
or a broker and they sold you lavender that was cut or adulterated or synthetic. We know that this is how the essential oil industry works. It's kind of a shady place. And that's why doTERRA goes through great lengths with co-impact sourcing to make sure that our lavender is pure. And doTERRA is not the one saying this. This is published in peer-reviewed scientific literature in a pharmaceutical journal. It's not marketing. This is data. This is science. And doTERRA is a science-based company. So not only are our oils pure, but there was a second research study done that actually found that doTERRA's lavender is consistent. And you can look up this article. I'll link it above to this video when I'm done. But there's a table in this article that talks about how every single chemical compound in lavender essential oil matters. And there's actually 39 different chemical constituents that make up lavender essential oil. And every single one of these compounds actually plays a role in how effective that oil is going to be in our body. Now, the two main chemical constituents of lavender is linalool and linalool acetate. And they did this table and they found it's this table of ISO, it's international standard for lavender. That standard that we have for lavender is based off of the percentage of linalool and linalool acetate. And for many times they go off of linalool and that standard has to be 20% to 45% to say that it's a standard lavender. That's crazy. That range is so wide, 25 to 45%. So what that does is it saying we can have junk essential oil, not even really oil, in the same category as a pure oil because of how wide that gap is. And it really doesn't make any sense. So doTERRA's lavender carries that gap is very small. It's very isolated. Now, linalool acetate breaks down into linalool in our body. So usually linalool is a big deal. That's what they're looking at. So with a pharmaceutical grade essential oil, that means we vary by a very small percentage when we talk about that standard deviation. There's not that huge wide gap like there is with a lot of others. So doTERRA went back and looked at every single batch of lavender essential oil that doTERRA had sold and produced during that time to look at the linalool and linalool acetate concentrations and the percentage in every single batch to find out the standard deviation, to see that difference on either side of the mean. What they found was for linalool, that difference was 1.23%. And for linalool acetate, it was 1.91%. This, my friends, is what pharmaceutical grade means, that it is totally consistent over four years and over 133 batches of lavender. That is insane. It's super exciting. In the past, the essential oil industry didn't even think that was possible. But it is. doTERRA's cracked that code and we can now prove that with the science and people need to know that they can trust and rely on that consistency and that purity. We've done what they didn't even think we could do and what was possible. The third study that they've done is a human clinical trial. And they took data from the National Center for Natural Product Research. This is actually pre-published. They're actually writing up this data for submission right now with the University of Mississippi School of Pharmacy. But it validated a scientific method to use a very sensitive triple quad GCMS instrument to pick up really small minuscule amounts of linalool that makes it into our bloodstream after ingesting a capsule of lavender. This has never been done before. And they took 40 different people and they split them into multiple groups to randomize this. So some people got lavender essential oil some people got linalool. It was pure, but it was a synthetic type. Some people got linalool and linalool acetate, but it was pure, but it was a synthetic. And they compared the blood levels at different time points. And after taking those ingested lavender, the linalool concentration will spike. And that's the max, the concentration max there. 
and then it'll fall and it'll reach around zero. And that was after about 20 hours or so. So they've done this clinical trial with one person in the past. Now they're doing human clinical trials with 40 people. And this is strong pharmaceutical and pharmacokinetic evidence showing us how we dose lavender essential oil the way that we do. And then they also did a safety trial. So they monitored if there were any side effects going on or any symptoms that anybody felt with this. Sometimes it wasn't even side effects. It was just they had the lavender burps when they were taking lavender. But what they found, and this is the big takeaway, lavender absorbed two times the amount than the synthetic compound linalool. What does that tell us? That the full plant chemistry, the entire chemical constituent, is greater than when you isolate single parts out. The whole essential oil is way more important than those little compounds. Nature is better than synthetic. That's basically what, and we knew that I think intuitively, but isn't it fun when the research and the science proves what we already know, that nature gets into the bloodstream better than any synthetic and nature is more powerful than any synthetic. This is why purity of your essential oils matters. You're gonna get two times the absorption with that. So looking at that C-max curve, lavender was around 143 as an average and linalool was around 85. So you're getting more absorption when you use the whole plant, when nature is brilliant like that. So more lavenders being able to absorb in the body. The impact on the human body with this is their finding from looking at all this research. Initially, I thought the half-life of lavender was around five hours. This research is showing that the half-life of lavender in the bloodstream is around three hours. So they're now going to be able to take this research and look at other essential oils. And this is why when other companies say our lavender essential oil is the same thing as doTERRA or our oils are comparable to doTERRA, they are not. They cannot compare. It's not apples to apples. We have the data. We have the science and the research that proves that other essential oils are not just like doTERRA. And doTERRA is not calling them out. They could have. They didn't list any names of other companies that they tested and used in this science. They're letting the research do the talking. They're trying to raise the bar as a whole on this essential oil industry. And doTERRA has always said that natural is better than synthetic. We have the evidence to prove that. And this is huge. So we need to be talking about this and sharing about this when people say that this is the same thing, it's not. And this is why not everybody does co-impact sourcing and works directly with the farmers and sources plants from the areas of the world where they're designed to grow. And not everybody has that very small measure of standard deviation. They just can't replicate it like doTERRA does. So we're taking this information and we're learning more about the dosage and pharmacokinetics, that's really exciting to me to think about dosing an essential oil kind of similar like we would to a medication. And doTERRA is working on a new delivery method. I have no idea what it's going to be. They kind of hinted that that may be coming around the corner about a year from now at next year's convention. So who knows? Maybe they are finding a way to dose that lavender, maybe something like a dual chamber capsule or an enteric coated capsule or something to help with that time release of lavender in our body and in our bloodstream. That would be kind of cool. I'm sure they're probably going to be looking into and studying the half-life of other essential oils, maybe copaiba, maybe peppermint, maybe other ones there to help. But purity, consistency, the dosing, the delivery, the efficacy is the pathway that we're moving forward, not just with lavender, but with more oils with all of that to come. And doTERRA is partnering with University of Mississippi, St. Elizabeth, the National Center for Natural Product Research and others. And this is why hospitals, universities reach out to doTERRA to do this research because you can't do this research on any other essential oil because they don't have the consistency to get the same results every single batch. And this is what Dr. Osgathorpe was talking about. You can trust doTERRA that you're gonna get the same quality, purity, consistent results 
with every single batch of oil, with every single bottle, and they went back four years and tested it all and proved it. Mic drop. <laughs> That's pretty exciting. So I was geeking out and nerding out about the science around it. It is fascinating. I think you're going to see lots of more things to come from doTERRA with the delivery and the way that they dose out essential oils. It's cool to take the research and then have scientific evidence to help us with dosing out the oils and seeing how long they are in our bloodstream and how that responds. So when anybody tells you that their oils are the same as doTERRA, you have the research and the knowledge to say, no, that's not true. And stay tuned. I love that doTERRA is a science company. I love that they're doing all this research and they're proving things that the essential oil industry never thought could be possible. So when you hear that doTERRA now has a pharmaceutical grade lavender essential oil, that's what that means. That it's pure, that it's consistent, that there's a very small percentage with standard deviation, and that nature is way more powerful than synthetic. And the majority of the stuff sold out there on the market is synthetic. Not to mention that with doTERRA, you get somebody to support you and walk you through everything. Can you imagine? It's overwhelming to walk through the aisle of the health food store and look at essential oils and not know how to use them. So we have the science to back us up. It's really exciting. I'll see you soon. Spread this message. More people need to know about it because there is a difference and we're proving it. See you soon. Bye.